Let's talk about the capillary action. Have you ever heard of it? Well, Nikola Tesla's heard of it. Where'd you hear about it, little buddy? I met Albert Einstein one time in 1921 or something, and he told me about the capillary action. The first paper he wrote in 1900 was on capillarity. Well, that's fascinating, little Tesla. Did you know that the capillary action was first recorded as observed in the 1600s? Well, you know what's really interesting about that is candles. Why are candles interesting? Wow, Tesla, you sound a lot like me. That's crazy. I know, right? Well, candles are interesting regarding the capillary action because that's the principle that they operate on. Yeah, Tesla already knew that because he's a scientist. So, I know what you're thinking. Probably thinking, Tommy, there's gotta be a safer way to light that candle. Well, this video isn't called the safest way to light candles. What does this have to do with capillary action? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Now, fire is the visible effect of the process of combustion in which a fuel combines with an oxidizer and gives out light and heat. In the case of a candle, the oxidizer is oxygen from air and the fuel is the wax. The wick is ignited and melts the wax beneath it into a liquid. The wax gets drawn up through the burning wick via the capillary action, which is a cool process in itself. The heat of the flame vaporizes the wax in the wick to a hot gas. The hot gas then mixes with oxygen and gets ignited by the flame that melted the wax in the first place. And then the cycle continues while you observe a nice steady flame. So the capillary action is the ability or property of liquid to flow in narrow spaces against the or without opposition from gravity or other forces. And the effect can be seen in things like paintbrushes pulling up paint or in candles pulling up wax. So this brings up a different question. How'd they invent candles if they didn't understand capillarity yet? So, so humans can discover things that have scientific significance but not quite understand it and still use those things in everyday inventions like candles. So you can do an experiment yourself on capillarity by filling, or by getting two glasses, filling one of them with water and sticking a paper towel between them. And you'll notice that the paper towel gets wet very quickly as it fills with water and it acts like a capillary. And the time lapse you're about to see, I took one picture every 10 seconds. Tesla likes science, so you'll see him creeping up here. And I would have had a glass of scotch with you guys today, but uh, I drank it during the time lapse, so sorry. So I'm wondering, what kinds of things are we using today that we don't actually understand? Can you think of any? Leave them in the comments, let me know. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you for watching. I've got a subscribe button down somewhere. Uh, hit it if you like to see more of these types of videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.